Hello and welcome to part four of this series on LibreOffice Impress 7. In this short tutorial, I'll show two interesting animations that might be useful. Let's start with the first one. I'm starting with a blank presentation and let me just bring in a blank slide. So I have a blank slide here and let me just get rid of this slide then. So this is the only slide I have here at this time. And I'm going to come to insert and bring in an image. This is a screenshot of Google Maps of a field area that I had visited. And the purpose of this animation is to show how I traveled on this map. So what we're going to do is we have brought in an image, then we'll go to insert, and then we are going to pick up this curves and polygons and then go and pick up the free form line tool so we have come to insert then we are coming to curves and polygons and then picking up the free form line tool so that permits us to draw uh, let me just zoom it a little bit such that what we are doing becomes clear so what I do is I start drawing and following this road. This is the road that I traveled on. So I depress my left mouse button and start dragging and with a steady hand, just try to follow the road. So I'm drawing on the road and this is the journey that I had taken for my field trip. And this was my first segment. So when I reach the end, I stop and a line has been created so because the line is already selected i'm going to come here and give it a nice bright color and just make it a little bit uh, wider such that it is visible uh, next up i went up this road so i'm going to do exactly the same thing that i have done before come back again to insert and pick up my free form line drawing tool and then start drawing from here and then moving up. So I'm following this road very carefully. It really, you know, does not matter if you stray a little bit because you can edit the line later on also without having to redraw it afresh. But it's nice to be careful because you can get this correct in one shot. So I'm done with this. And then I'm going to click on it, select it, and then give it uh, this color. And I'll make sure that uh, the line is having the exact same width as the previous one. So I'm going to click on this, which is the same as uh, the width of this line. And then finally, I went and camped here. So I traveled on this particular road and camped here. So I'm going to do the exact same thing one more time. Insert and then go to my curves and polygons tool and pick up the free form line tool. And then just simply start drawing a line and very carefully keep following this road. And you can zoom this and make it more bigger such that it is visible. And this is where I stopped. So I have my third line. I'm going to, it's already selected. So I will just give it red color and make the width as equal. So I have three lines, and these are actually the journey that I have taken on the map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the first line and then pick up my animation tool and select the line and then add animation. And so this adds the entrance appear animation. When I click on it, I am actually interested to change it to wipe. So I'll just travel down and click on wipe. And it has a few options right here. So 
because this line i want to give a feeling of traveling from a uh, right towards left so i'm going to say direction is from right so this line when it will be rendered in animation it will travel from right to the left side of the screen and i'm going to increase this duration to maybe something like about 7 seconds such that it is um a little slow and i'm going to change on click to after previous so the basic idea being that the moment the slide is up this line will start drawing maybe i can throw in uh, a second of delay such that people have time to just have a look at the map so two seconds of delay and after two seconds um, automatically this line will start drawing so let us see how this looks so let me just bring this back here let us start so i'm going to my home screen and then saying start from current slide so after two seconds this line is drawing and it is actually showing me how i traveled on the road and this is just a simple wipe animation but it looks really nice because it can convey that you are actually traveling on the road and you can uh, show people how you moved so let me just come out of this go back to my animation pane so with my second line animation clicked on i will repeat the exact same thing and i'm going to come here and say after previous and instead of uh, having um, entrance appear i'm going to choose wipe for my second line remember we are working on this line so we have to choose the second option here and then it in this particular case it is traveling from the bottom to the top so this the default seems to be perfect and i want to give this again uh, nine seconds as the previous one and give it a delay of two seconds as i did for the previous line as well and so this line will also start drawing after two seconds and then finally i'm going to do the same for the third line so i'm going to select it and then add animation so i have now selected my third line and uh, i will go down and choose wipe exact same thing as we have done before and then I will say after previous, I want to do this for nine seconds. So this animation is going to last for nine seconds and I want a delay of two seconds before this starts. So we are all done and let's see how this looks. So we will just start the presentation. After two seconds, uh, we have the first line drawing in very smoothly, traveling on the road, and you can do some explaining. And then after two seconds, the second line starts and it is following the road. And the third line. So you can see uh, how easily we can create an animation like this, which can be really very useful to show movement in the field and it looks really nice very simple to do and very very effective so the second animation that i want to demonstrate is based on what is called as motion paths rather than have a canned animation that is flying from the left or right using motion paths you can make an object move in um, any direction or any path that you want that particular object to move in so here on this slide, I have um, three images. I have inserted uh, images of two flowers and a bee, and I want to demonstrate uh, motion paths using a very simple concept. The bee is going to fly and hover over the flowers and then fly away. So to do this, let me just take the bee and move it out of the slide. So this B is, will not be visible initially. And then I'm just going to come here and add. 
So an effect has been added, but I'm going to come to the category box and change this to motion parts. And from the resulting menu, choose free form line, which will permit me to draw a path that the B will follow. So I'll click on this. So the cursor changes to a plus sign with a small line. And I'm going to just simply press my left mouse key and start creating a path for the bee. And this bee is going to travel forward, then it's going to hover over the flower like this. And then it is going to come back and then hover over the flower. So I'm drawing in any way that I feel is interesting or important. And then I'm going to make the bee fly away out of the slide. So once I've done this, a motion path animation has been added. Now this uh, animation in the present version has been acting a little strangely, at least on my computer. So the workaround that I have followed is that after doing what I have just demonstrated, I just simply save the presentation and then I just close it and then come back in again. So when I do this, uh, the odd behavior that I have seen at times is not uh, persistent. So I have this already there and I can now tweak it. So this is a motion path animation based on a free form line. So instead of click, I'm going to say after previous, so it will start automatically. And then I want it to continue for some time. The bee must fly slowly. So instead of two seconds, the duration, the duration is now 12 seconds and I will start the uh, the, I will start the animation after two seconds. So there will be a lull for two seconds and then the bee will start flying and appearing. So that's just about it. And we will go to the home tab and then start from the current slide to see how this goes. So after two seconds, the bee is coming and then it's following the path that I had drawn and then hover on the second flower and then it just goes and flies away. So this is a motion path animation and it has a lot of uh, options. So you can make things uh, move in a curve or you can make things move in a star. So it can be used to you know, kind of uh, drive cars on a map or cars on a road. And uh, if you want something that is unusual, uh, which is uh, not possible using the standard animation menu, then you can choose motion paths and experiment with motion paths. Thanks for watching.